Scorpio. Hello, hello. Peace, love, and light to you guys. This is Tasha with Intuitive Scorpio Tarot. And I am back. So, Scorpio, let's jump into your reading. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. <clears throat> Go ahead and hit that subscription button. I would love to have you as a part of my Scorpio Stinger family. Keep in mind, guys, only take what resonates and leave what doesn't when it comes to the general collective reading, okay? All right. Holy Spirit, show me what I need to see for Scorpio. What is the overall general message? I want to call in Archangel Gabriel to shield and protect me as I channel the messages for Scorpio. Let no weapon form against me shall prosper. Any demonic demonic forces, evil eye witchcraft, I ask that you return the energy back to sender a thousandfold in Jesus' name and it is so. Amen and amen. First card is soul searching. Okay. We also have follow your intuition. We also have heart chakra. Okay. All right, Scorpios. Hmm. A lot of you guys are currently in the energy of soul searching. You're trying to find your path. You're trying to find your purpose in life at this current moment. You're seeking assistance from the most high. You're knowing that your soul is needing healing. A lot of you guys may be spending some time alone. Withdrawing your energy from everyone. We also have follow your intuition. A lot of you guys are very spiritually inclined. A lot of you guys have very high intuition. Some of you guys could be tarot readers or you just have a high intuition. But if you do not understand an intuition, this is just more of your gut feeling. Listen to your inner self. The voice that you hear inside of you, listen to that. No matter what it is, people, places, and things, follow your intuition, Scorpio, okay? We also have heart chakra. So the heart chakra talks about love, giving and receiving love, healing, forgiveness. So a lot of you guys may have been working on yourself as far as healing any past wounds, traumas that you may have experienced, whether this is as a child, a teenager, young adult, or previous, you know, divorce, separation from a person, or even family members or friends that may have broken your heart. So I feel as though some of you guys may be working on how to give and receive and forgive, okay? All right, Scorpio. So <clears throat> let's get into the message. Holy Spirit, tell me about soul searching for Scorpio. Tell me about soul searching for Scorpio. Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Show me what I need to see. Tell me about soul searching for Scorpio. We have Scorpio here, the tower. Mm. Tell me about soul searching for Scorpio. And I just talked about being a tarot reader or very intuitive. There you go, the high priestess. Pisces energy. Yeah. Again, spirit is saying, follow your intuition. All right, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the sun. Wow, we have three major arcanas here, Scorpio. Three major arcanas here. So, you guys have a very, very powerful energy is what I'm seeing here. Some of you guys can have Pisces in your rising moon, Venus, or Mercury placement. Like I said, a lot of you guys are on the soul searching journey. You're trying to get to common waters. You're connecting your energy to the higher power, following your intuition, listening to your inner self. I feel like a lot of you guys are currently not really talking to anyone. You're remaining quiet, kind of staying to yourself while you're on this soul searching journey. Someone's initials can be the letter B or the letter J. Someone's favorite color could be blue or black. Hmm. I do see you guys are definitely going through a spiritual awakening. A lot of you guys are coming out of the traditional way of thinking. And a lot of you guys are tuning more into the spiritual realm. 
connecting with your spirituality, your divine ancestors, spirit guides as well. So there may have been a traumatic experience, Scorpios, that you guys have experienced. Things fell apart. It came out of nowhere. Everything can, just came crumbling down. I feel like this pushed you into the energy to go on your soul's journey. Okay? I feel like God did this for you for a reason. Because obviously, I'm getting some of you guys here are chosen. You are chosen ones. All of this was done by the higher power. The universe knocked something down that was not serving of your highest good. And allowed you to connect it's kind of like this happened for you to connect with God. And now you're seeing things from a different perspective. Your guys are awakening. You're seeing the truth and clarity. Things have came to the light. I feel like you guys are now starting to see there was a reason for this tower. I needed to wake up. I needed to see something for what it was. This was God reaching out to me saying, hey, Scorpio, we choose you to do the work we choose you as a light worker we choose you as an earth angel you know and then the three of wands being on the back of the deck now you're in this energy you're wanting expansion now that things have came to the light you're wanting growth you're currently in a progress stage you're working on yourself you're continuing continuing your journey looking at things from a different perspective Things are being illuminated to you. You're being very optimistic about your future. You're very confident. Yeah. All right, Scorpios. <clears throat> Holy Spirit, tell me about follow your intuition. Tell me about follow your intuition for Scorpio. Yeah, I feel like you guys had a wake up call. Spirit chose you mm -hmm. to get in this high priestess energy. Like I said, some of you guys possibly are tarot readers. When you went on this spiritual awakening, this allowed you to be and in, to tap into your higher self, your subconscious. Yeah. We have the Ten of Wands. Hmm. Tell me about follow your intuition for Scorpio. The Empress in the reverse. Mm. Libra Taurus energy. We have the Four of Wands in the reverse. <clears throat> I'm picking up this is a low vibrational Empress. This is someone who doesn't have any spiritual growth. They're not able to give birth to life or give birth to new ideas, new opportunities. This is a woman that is not fertile. Okay. When the Empress is in a revert, this is someone who is very codependent, kind of a pick me type of energy. This is someone who pretends to be something that they're not. This is a female energy that is very insecure. So I'm getting here, when Spirit says follow your intuition, whatever you're feeling about a particular female, listen to your intuition. The high priestess is here. Now, this can be a male that's in this empress energy here. Someone who does not know the divine. Someone who's not a divine being. This is still someone who's living in the 3D world. Someone who has not tapped into their spiritual gifts. Who is not awoken. I feel like whoever this is, this can be a mother, a baby mother, or some type of feminine energy within your life that is very smothering. You feel burnt out with this energy. This energy brings you a lot of stress. I'm getting this is like a needy person. It's like you carry the weight of everything all on your own. And this person just sits back and allow you to do it. So you feel stress. Someone here hates to go home someone here is a workaholic it's like you are taking care of all of your responsibilities your obligations but it seems like you're doing it on your own while this empress is being like a negligence towards you 
So whatever you're feeling, Scorpio, about this Empress in the Reverse, this feminine energy, believe it. Yeah. I'm getting this could be a marriage. Now keep in mind the Empress can be male or female, okay? <clears throat> there are some masculines that are more in their feminine energy. With the Four of Wands being in the Reverse, yeah. Someone feels unwelcome in their own home. Someone feels neglected. They're doing everything on their own. There's a lot of home conflict here. This possibly is going to end up leading, leading excuse me, to a separation or divorce. Things are very unstable because you're carrying all the weight of, your, of the responsibilities of the relationship, the kids, the home, and you're getting tired. You feel burnt out. So if your intuition is telling you to leave this empress in the reverse, follow your intuition. Stay in your ground. Protect your energy. Block this person if you have to. Mm -hmm. Spirit said this is the truth. You need to let this person go. You need to let them go. Tell me about heart chakra. So the Empress is Libra, Taurus Energy, High Priestess Pisces, and Scorpio here with Tower. One more shuffle. And of course, guys, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. <clears throat> Tell me about Heart Chakra for Scorpio. Too many. Tell me about Heart Chakra. just heard something guys with this empress in the reverse this is my intuitive talk thought if this is a female someone could be lying about a pregnancy that's why spirit saying follow your intuition this woman this feminine could be saying that she's pregnant she's not or she's had like false pregnancies just to keep someone around hmm. this can even be This can even be someone's mother here that's very low vibrational, that stresses you out a lot. You could be living with your mother and maybe she's very overbearing. You feel burnt out with this mother figure. Maybe she's just too much and maybe you're ready to move out of this home. All right, so with Heart Chakra, we have the Fool in the Reverse. Aries Energy. What's the final card for Heart Chakra? That's too many spirit, too many. With the fool card being here, I'm getting, you guys were a fool in love. You were very gullible. Yeah. We have the page of pentacles or you feel like you were a fool in love. Maybe you made a foolish decision when it came to your heart collective. Hmm. You may have jumped in and out of different relationships, damaging your heart chakra damaging your heart altogether. Hmm. It's kind of like you feel foolish for taking such a small offer from possibly a younger earth sign. Hmm. Capricorn Taurus Virgo. I feel like when it comes to your heart chakra collective that there's still some things that you're needing to learn. You maybe still need to learn how to ground yourself, remain consistent educate yourself learn some lessons when it comes to being a fool in love giving your heart to the wrong people because when i look at this page of pentacles even though he has a pentacle in his hand i feel like this is your heart it's like someone keeps giving their heart out to the wrong people being foolish being very gullible you're needing to protect your heart scorpio bottom of the deck mm -hmm. just like i said it's kind of like someone here is a fool for love. Someone takes careless and reckless risks and end up being a fool in love. Just giving your heart to others. But there's something that you needed to learn. These were lessons that you needed to learn. Because I'm getting here that some of you guys, you just want true love in your life. You want to be happy. 
But the thing is, I, I just feel as though you may be giving your heart out to too many people, the wrong people. And it's making you look like a fool here. Yeah. Yep. Thank you, Spirit. And this cause rejection, separation. Things don't work out. There ends up being tension. You may be giving your heart to people that are not experienced when it comes to love. And that's why things may not work out. It's like you get this, you get, you overflow someone with love. And of course, as a Scorpio, I definitely understand because I love hard. We all do. Once we pour out all, we overflow. But this is Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy with the Ace of Cups. You love love. But you may be giving your heart out to the wrong people. So you're needing to heal your heart chakra. Yeah. Because all it does is end up being a breakup or a separation. Because you invested so much love, energy, time, feelings into a situation. You're hoping that the energy that you put into a relationship, you get it back. Yeah. But see, you end up investing into someone who's toxic, low vibrational. Someone who may have addictions. I'm getting like you guys have an obsession with love. And you end up giving it to the wrong people. And th these people take away your power. And then you end up turning your back on these people, waiting for the next person to come around. But you have to take care of yourself first, Scorpio. Trust me, I had to learn it the hard way. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Scorpio. This is what I have for you. Thank you so much for joining me in this reading. I appreciate you guys so, so much. Keep in mind that this is a general reading. If you would like a personal reading, as this was general... All of my information for how to book a reading or all of my information for my website is down in my description box, okay? If you're new to the channel, hit that subscription button. I would love to have you as a part of my Scorpio Stinger family. Peace, love, and light, and I'll see you guys on the next video.